Hello everyone and once again welcome to yet another day here in Bangkok, Thailand and today we are going to explore another Wat uh, which is known as Wat Trimed, another Buddhist temple Today we will be going by the MRT railway services so that's gonna be very interesting We are now approaching the Bang Hai metro station so let's see how this journey goes The Metropolitan Rapid Transit, also known as MRT, is one of the most used public transport systems in Bangkok. It is well connected throughout the city and serves as the most convenient commuting option for daily passengers. The MRT currently has three lines, namely the Blue Line, the Purple Line and the Yellow Line. Expansion of the Bangkok MRT has been underway since 2011 and more lines are going to be introduced this year and also in the following years. By 2025, Bangkok expects to have three more lines, namely the orange line, the pink line and the brown line. MRT fares are quite reasonable and if you are a student under the age of 23, or a child under the age of 14, you are eligible for certain discounts. Senior citizens above the age of 60 are also entitled to some attractive discounts on fares. We just got off the metro and now we are here at the Hua Long Hong area and we are going to watch Triumetir which is right in front of us so I hope you enjoy this place as much as we do. Triamit with Hiram is located on Charen Krung Road near Hua Lampong Metro Station and Yawarat. It is a second class royal temple of the Waravihan class and originally was called Wat Sam Chin because there is a story that there were three Chinese people who worked together to build this temple. The interior has some interesting items like the Phra Mahamondap, which is where the Phra Putta Mahasuvana Patimakon or Luangfu Thom Khan is enshrined. It has been regarded as a priceless Buddha image since the past ancient times. The Buddha image here with the appearance of gold contains a large amount of pure gold. The width of the lap is 6 cubits 5 inches and the height is 7 cubits 1 kweb or 9 inches. This temple is open daily from 8 am in the morning to 5 pm in the evening. Entrance fee for an adult is 40 baht.
the water treatment complex is extremely huge with so many different items to see and learn about. So when you are visiting this place, make sure that you have some time with you to explore it to its fullest details. An interesting ritual that you might notice everyone doing here in Thailand is sticking gold foils on Buddha statues. It is believed that you bring good luck to yourself when you do so. At the same time, it restores the beauty and the shininess of the idol. You would find different shops selling these golden foils which you can buy and then go ahead and stick on the bodies of the Buddha idols. After spending a lot of time at Wat Triamit and exploring it to its finest details, we decided to head out and go to another very famous place located very near to Wat Triamit that is Bangkok's Chinatown. So after the Wat Triamit, now I have decided to go to Chinatown which is a very popular marketplace here. So let's see how it is. So on my way to the Chinatown, I came across this beautiful monastery here. So I decided to stop here and go inside and check this monastery out. So let's go inside and see what it has. The Kuan Yim Shrine is located at the Tian Fa Foundation on Yao Warat Road in Bangkok's Chinatown. It is one of the most popular shrines in the area, being particularly busy on Chinese holidays. Locals come here to make offerings and pray for blessings such as fertility, success, health and happiness. Guan or Guan Yin is the Chinese goddess of mercy and the Kuan Yim image here is 900 years old. It is carved from teak in a Tang dynasty art style. The walls of the Kuan Yim shrine are painted with beautiful Chinese style murals depicting various gods and goddesses. The Tian Fa Foundation is a charity and the building surrounding the shrine is a hospital. Free traditional Chinese medical care is provided here to the poor and the homeless. Bangkok's Chinatown is one of the largest Chinatowns in the world. It is renowned for its incredible shopping options and tantalizing cuisine. This fast-paced district was founded over 200 years ago and went on to become the main hub for Bangkok's large Chinese community. Ventured down Yawarat Road, bustling with activity and brimming with shops offering an array of souvenirs, jewelry and trinklets. Of course, you can also find some authentic and traditional 
Chinese food options. You can come here with your family, stop at a family run restaurant to grab an oyster omelette or dim sum and enjoy shopping the entire day. So we are now here at the Wat Mangon MRT station and we are heading back to Bang Phai. So yeah, excited again for yet another MRT trip to Bang Phai. In the evening, after finishing off our lunch and also some period of rest, we headed out to Icon Siam. We hired a cab from the app called Bolt. There are two apps that you can use for hiring a cab in Bangkok, namely Grab and Bolt. And both of them are excellent apps and they offer very reasonable fare. So you can go with any of these two options. Our trip to Icon Siam took around 112 baht and we reached Icon Siam in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes. Icon Siam, one of the most attractive tourist destinations here in Bangkok. It was opened to the public on 9th November 2018 and it includes a large number of shopping malls as well as hotels and residences. Located on the banks of the Chao Phraya River, Icon Siam also has its own pier from which you can avail their famous Chao Phraya River cruise. However, we chose the other option. We went on a cruise from the Asiatic Riverfront Pier and the vlog of that particular cruise will be up on my channel very very soon. So stay tuned and do consider subscribing to my channel for more interesting vlogs and videos. Talking about Icon Siam, 
its ground floor is a completely authentic street food and street market destination. But first, we decided to go up and explore the different malls here in Icon Siam. The brands that were available here kept us all speechless. You can find everything from H&M to Zara to Apple to Porsche under the same roof. Definitely Icon Siam is a paradise for shopping lovers. After returning from the Chinatown, which honestly did not have a lot of things, I am here at Icon Siam, which is one of the most popular malls here in Bangkok. And honestly, this is mesmerizing with all the great brands that are present over here. Just take a look. If you are looking for street food in Thailand, just come to the ground floor of Icon Siam. You will find such a huge variety of street food, Bangkok specialities, Thai specialities available here. You are definitely going to be in the heaven of street food. My recommendation would be to definitely try sticky rice with mango and it is a specialty, a renowned dish here in Thailand so you should not miss it and I can guarantee that the quality here in Icon Siam is unmatched, unparalleled. So that's the conclusion of our second day of the Thailand trip. Stay tuned for more because in the next video, we will be exploring Wat Arun and also we will be going to some very exciting places. Stay tuned for more vlogs. <laughs>